Hello everyone, welcome to AppMind. This channel is a video series for installing AppMind consciousness art in your brain. In this episode, we're gonna talk about Constant Durat, a mute arrow by the way. So let's get started. Constant Durat is a Dutch artist. Basically, his artwork is connected to internet art. When he was awarded Brick's Net Art in 2015, the Dry mentioned that his artwork is full of humor, wit, and critical commentary. In 2008, Dread made an artwork, the disagreeinginternet.com. He used the website as art form. When you visit the website, the top screen of Google is shaking, like disagreeing something. Interestingly, you can search anything, but the screen continues to shake. There are two keywords to understand the artwork. Internet art. Heterotopia. Let's check the website of Tate first. According to Tate, Internet art is art that is made on and for the Internet, also known as net art. It encompasses various subgenres of computer based art, including browser art and software art. A net art emerged in the 1990s. The next website is Foucault.info. In 1984, a text by Michel Foucault was published. He wrote, It's a sort of simultaneously mythic and real contestation of the space in which we live. This description could be called heterotopology. What do we talk about the relationship between internet art and heterotopia when we talk about the disagreeinternet.com? Because the two keywords are deeply connected each other. When you notice the relevancy of the keywords looking irrelevant, you can find the meaning of art. We introduced the book, You Are Here, Art After the Internet, edited by Omar Khalif in 2014. There's a text written by Dulat there. After talking about Google, Microsoft, and Facebook, he wrote, These distinct spaces are at most controlled public spaces and monitored private space, neither public nor private, neither here nor there. Heterotopic. Then he asks, So how does the growth of online public spaces owned by corporations influence the practice of the contemporary artist? And he proposes that artists and their audiences must find new spaces to develop their work by engaging with the possibilities offered by the freedoms of encryption. Today, the internet is already a new type of heterotopia, like dystopia for some odd people. The disagreeing internet.com keeps shaking its head even now. The critical commentary by Durat seems like suggesting us to reconsider what you want to know and what you really want to do. That's all for now. How did you like it? Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. See you next time.